Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode, guys. Today, got some pretty cool stuff for you. Some pretty cool stuff that I am personally freaking jacked about. I know the wife's excited as well. Let me go ahead and show you. We are gonna be testing out the old air fryer. Uh, now this isn't one of the expensive ones, this is just the cheaper one. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna try it out and see how we like it before we go kind of balls deep on an expensive one. But anyways, we cook a lot of fish, so you know, we were thinking this is gonna be a much healthier and a much cheaper alternative. So we're gonna put it to the test. You know, is it gonna work? I don't really know. There's a lot of really good reviews out there on them, uh, but will it get that nice flaky golden, mm, I don't know if it's gonna do that or not. But I'll tell you what, if the hooking's good, we're gonna definitely put it to the test. Uh, so, got the old 10 foot dangle sticks out, ready, locked and loaded. We're gonna take them down to the lake. We're gonna try to catch us some nice, delicious yellow perch. And uh, we're gonna go from there, guys. So uh, hopefully this works out. If you're watching this, I guess it did. So let's do it. Guys, here we are at the old mountain pond. Guys, this place is just, it's insanely beautiful. I mean, look at this. Mountains, beautiful mountains, beautiful clear water. You know, I, I'm usually fishing the, the Tennessee River and it's just so nasty. It's, it's really nice to have a place like this. Guys, we're just so fortunate here in East Tennessee to have so many awesome places to fish. Uh, but anyways, I'm just scanning the bottom here, looking at the old uh, side imaging. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But we're just scanning along, just kind of looking for the schools to see where they're at. And see if we can, uh, see if we can do a little bit of hooking so we can do a little bit of cooking later. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can uh, find some. I've got uh, two smaller hooks with a loop knot tied. I think that loop knot actually gives these minnows more room to move around, makes it look a little bit more natural. About a foot apart, got two hooks, and then got about a half ounce drop shot. We're gonna drop these guys all the way to the bottom, and then we're just gonna reel it up maybe a foot or so. Start with a pretty good one here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one, guys. Oh, I don't think this is a perch. It's a smallie. I'm telling you, this water is so clear, it's hard to get them. Got him. That was a good looking smallie, guys. Well,. I'm not what we were after, but I do always enjoy a good smallie. He's a nice one. Let's let him go. <laughs> Out of here. Well, again, I had my daggum camera off, but there's a decent one. Not too bad at all. Man, I'm telling you what, these are just the most beautiful fish. He will keep. All right, guys. Well, I made a little bit of a move. You know, the last place all I ended up catching was just that smallmouth, which, you know, I'll take it. That was that was fun, especially on these 10-foot rods. But I made a move over here to, uh, it's not really a cove. It's just kind of a little dip off the main channel. You know, this particular body of water that I'm fishing, it just does not have a whole lot of structure. You know, it's, it's, it's really easy to find the fish on this water. So, made a move over here, you know, this is just, like I said, just a little dip. Um, my first rod got snagged, you know, I found this brush pile, it looked like there was maybe some fish feeding on it. So I dropped my rods down there. First rod got snagged, broke off, lost everything. And while I was dealing with that, I thought my other rod was getting snagged too, but I actually had that perch on there. So, um, we're gonna drop it back down there, give it another dangle and see what happens. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the death or on the fish finder here in just a second. All right. 
So that is what we're looking at right now. That's just a big old brush pile. And it's hard to tell, but on the side imaging, and I'm no, I'm no expert at this or anything, but it looks like there's some fish inside here. Just, you know, that's kind of what I was looking at there. So um, that's what we're fishing. Hopefully that's where we uh, catch dinner. Keep. Ooh. Classic perch bite. Got him. He's a little guy. Oh, I broke my daggum rig. You son of a gun. He is too small. That one him back. said that not a lot of people are catching them on artificials and I'm a stubborn SOB so we're gonna keep on trying. I'm gonna give the old two and a half inch gulp a, a dangle. See what happens. Bobby Garland not getting it done for me today but that's all right. He lays the hammer on some crappie and that's what they're for. So, we'll see if the old gulp can get it done. Oh, this is a good one, guys. Oh. Y'all see that? That's why, cause it's a dag blasted. It's a dad blasted bass, guys. It's a large guy. Dad blasted bass. Let me show y'all something real quick. So this has kind of been the juice. You know, like I said, there's not a lot of structure on this body of water. So anything that you can find, you know, we, we got a good brush pile we're about to come up on. And I think these fish have been just kind of snap, stacked all around it, just coming in and out to feed. Yeah, you see that? That's a fish right there. There we go. I told you. That's a fish there. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him, folks. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a keeper. 
watch this other rod right here is likely to go off too. Throw in the live well real quick. All right, guys, we're headed back to the ramp now. Had a pretty decent day. We definitely got enough. We're gonna head home and uh, get this air fryer to work. Stay tuned, let's see how it turns out. All right, guys, so there's the haul for today. We did pretty decent. I'm not gonna go through the whole like how I clean fish because there's, you know, a thousand videos out there on how to do it. Unless you guys want me to, if y'all just like hearing me talk about shit, I'll do it. Um, just let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I'm gonna get to cleaning these. Uh, we've got the fillets chilling in this nice little salty ice bath. Um, I like to put them in there. I think it makes the texture really nice. And also, if there's any any blood or anything like that, it'll pull it out of that meat. Uh, that that brine makes uh, makes makes it really nice, really nice. So I would definitely do that. Um, what we've got going on here is we're about to preheat this guy, and something that's pretty cool is I hope that you can see that, but it's got. Um, kind of like a cheat sheet up here. So we're doing fish, so 410 to 14 minutes. So we're about to turn this on together. We'll see what happens. So it's like 10 minutes at 400. All right, people, so while this thing is preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and get my batter ready. Let me tell y'all something right now. I'm gonna release the secret. That's it, baby. This stuff is freaking delicious. You got the uh, the red and the yellow. The red, this stuff will light you on fire. I kind of like that, but Boo does not. So she's gonna get a little yellow, and I'm gonna do a little yellow and red mix. I like doing about 50-50, and you don't really even need a whole lot of seasoning. But we are gonna throw a little Cajun on there. Little Cajun black and seasoning. I think this is uh, Lynchburg. Lynchburg. Pretty good. Honestly, they all taste pretty good to me, so I don't really care. Uh, but batter, I'm telling you guys, go with this stuff. Now, normally I will use a gallon bag, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to do two rounds with this guy. We're going to do one where we actually just bake it. Um, I have some pretty nice um, fillets. Um, that I was able to get. So we're gonna take those and we're actually just going to uh, just bake them. We're gonna put some butter and stuff like that in there and see how the old air fryer handles that. And then we're gonna do um, another round of actual fried fish. Woo! It's got some heat coming out the back. That is definitely warm. Now, if you guys like to, uh, to season your fish, I'll tell you a trick that I've learned, and that's if you put the seasoning in your egg wash there, um, I think that that helps coat the fish a lot more because if you put the seasoning in your flour mix, you, know, you don't always get all that on the fish, so you really use a lot more than you need or you, know, you don't use that much and then you can't really taste it. So put that in your egg wash. And uh, we're going to be real precise with our measurements here. That's probably good. That's, that's two and a half shakes. Make sure you've got an egg beating apparatus. So um, we got the, the egg wash and everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and take my fillets out of the ice bath. And I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to let them soak for about five minutes. All right, so there we go. And there's our fillets. I don't know if you can see that or not. Mmm! Mmm! Can't wait. Um, now, I do try to drain as much of the water off there as you can. You can actually take some paper towels and just kind of press it against it. Because the less water you have, the, the better. Well, we're done preheating. Didn't have any smoke either, so that's good. Stir. Okay. Leave Seasoning, butter, just light spray with the olive oil. <laughs> sure. We're going to give it the old college go. Okay, 400, 
four. We're doing ten. See you in ten minutes. All right, guys. So while it's preheating, we're gonna take those fillets that've been soaking in the egg wash, and we're gonna put them in uh, the bags there with with your batter. Um, and then this is how you get the golden crispies. We're gonna shake it up real nice and make sure that all of it is coated. Oh my goodness, look. Let's see if they're getting focused there. And that was 10 minutes? That was 10 minutes. They shrunk up a bunch, but oh my, oh! Oh, come smell it. <laughs> just come, just. We're gonna give it a go. You want me to go first? It's really hot. Oh, it is really hot. It looks delicious though, it really does. I did my that thing. Alright. Hot? Mm-hmm. Over here. No, but it's fine. It was a little dry. Mm. It's got a good flavor to it though. It's just kind of dry, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'll get better. Fried? No. What? Oh yeah. yeah. I'll get better the other way. You didn't like it? I think it's fine. But I like it. It tastes healthy. Use the little grill thing and like all the butter drains down in the bottom. But I think if I take that out next time and just let it like just mm -hmm. cook in that butter, I think they'd be a lot better. Anyways, here's what everyone's probably here for. The fried part. They just look a little like powdery, you know, like they're definitely hot. I mean, I think they're done. They're just not like golden, golden, like the oil gets it. Well, we'll give it a go and see what happens, I suppose. I don't think they're gonna be bad. So, we'll see. Normally you can tell the difference because some will be like orange and some will be yellow. Oh, great. I don't know which one is which. No idea, babe. Yeah, it's like a box of chocolates. You just, you don't know what you're going to get. Well, we're going to okay. give Thanks. it a try. I think this one looks like a yellow. Definitely looks like an orange. Mmm. It's hot. It's hot. That's crispy. Stuff you put on it. That's crispy. Mmm. It's good. It's good. I have fun. I mean, how's it different? Move over here. Different. How's it different than? Usually, yeah. Yeah, I mean. What do you not like about it? I think just the way it looks, I guess. <laughs> you know? Oh, crust food? Oh, I think it's good. Hot. I don't like that. I can't tell which is which, though. One thing is, I usually use peanut oil, and when we have to use the olive oil, I think that that makes a difference. 
And I think next time I'm going to coat the top and flip them over and then coat the bottom. I think that'll help too. It's like Russian roulette. Good luck. <laughs> well, what's, what's your, what do you think about the air fryer, boo? I like the air fryer. You I like, like that it fryer. was so fast. It was really easy like too. We just have to figure out how to do our foil and seasoning and all that. Mm -hmm. But I like it. Yeah. And cook super fast. Yeah. And we didn't make a huge mess either, so that's nice. So, all right. Well, I guess we're giving the air fryer a thumbs up. I'm down with that. Yeah. Well, we're going to eat dinner. Catch y'all next time.